Hello YouTube, this is the Narabin, and today is going to be my first update video. Uh, some of you may have noticed that I have not uploaded that much recently, uh, next to nothing almost, um, and that is for two reasons. One is that I grew terribly frustrated um, because uh, a whole bunch of recordings was unusable because the sound uh, uh, I did not really look for it and my computer uh, tricked me and so uh, I think about was about uh, one and a half hour or so was uh, uh, just my head whispering and uh, I grew really frustrated, especially because I had some stuff for May the 4th. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Uh, and the second reason I have not uploaded anything is uh, that one part of my life has ended and another is about to begin, and I'm really busy right now. Um, I hope I was vaguely vague. Um, yeah. So, uh, but I will try to get YouTube back into my uh, schedule, especially because I uh, uh, it really uh, it's really uh, kind of um, um, I'm lacking a word, but I really enjoy doing videos. So, um, and I really should take the time to do so. Um, I greatly announced that I would uh, do my let's play of uh, Realms of Arcania 1 uh, on another channel and I will. I already have recorded um, the next uh, five to six episodes or so uh, and I just have to cut them to pieces and uh, overlay them with music. Uh, I will do this probably by the end of the week um, and I will do a kind of an announcement video uh, on this channel, on the RPG channel, um, which will be um, also a uh, video about the uh, region of Aventuria where the city of Thorwall, where we are, are at the moment, is uh, set. And this leads me to another topic, um, or exactly the, the same topic. Um, I was asked to do a review of the Dark Eye by a fellow YouTuber, and I, um, at first I did not really want to do so, um, because I'm more familiar with uh, edition that is not available in English, um, but um, then I kind of got intrigued and especially when he asked me if I sh would um, recommend buying it or not and I couldn't really say yes or no. Um, so I will do a series of videos about the English PDFs of uh, the Dark Eye. Um, and uh, when I'm done with that, I think I will do uh, a few short videos about the important parts, or the more important parts of Arteria, because I really think everything is equally important. Um, yeah. So this is for upcoming videos. Uh, I will also um, try to get over uh, myself and uh, redo the videos that I uh, had to delete for lacking sound. So uh, something about the Kuijin, uh, the Kindred of the East will come out. Um, I have uh, some videos uh, that are more general in topic and uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, then uh, one thing I noticed about other people's update videos is that they show off what they uh, have bought recently. And uh, I will do the same. 
my most recent edition is uh, Aborea or Aborea because it is a German production that uh, wants to um, uh, get some of the pie that uh, the dark eye is uh, getting. Um, and this game particular uh, markets itself with being without a meta plot and having no history whatsoever until now and so you don't have to read that much and uh, really it's the same argument that uh, people uh, put forth if they say um, uh, Vampire the Requiem over uh, Vampire the Masquerade if you disregard uh, rules issues. Um, this game is um, uh, quite easy it seems, uh, no uh, huge bunch of rules. Uh, it also was quite cheap um, and it has, well, uh, I can't really say a nice flair but some nice uh, uh, some nice uh, text that come with it, especially because the Dreizehn um, Mann uh, Verlag, Thirteen Man, uh, is um, putting out an, uh, a huge, or not a huge, but uh, large enough quantity of free um, free uh, modules that you can download uh, via their website. And so I think uh, this is uh, quite a nice addition and maybe something grows out of it. I mean, the dark eye started with something terrible. Um, what's in the box? In the box is a really large map uh, of a continent uh, that the map is quite nicely done. Um, I won't take it out all because um, yeah, um, but I personally rather like maps for fantasy or medieval games to be like ones you could produce in such a setting and this one is really more fitting for a traveler campaign I think uh, because it uh, it has a grid on it and it's all very clear there is um, you can even distinguish very very small islands here and even th uh, so, this might be a nice um, um, real-world resource. Uh, I think it's really a mood killer for the game. Um, but maybe that's just me. Also, uh, the uh, core rulebook is um, about a very, very small part of this map. So this map, at the moment, is uh, nearly useless. <laughs> because it only is um, a number of names uh, and uh, nice uh, castle uh, icons and so on uh, without much of content. But of course that can change in the future. The next thing, which I rather like way more, is uh, this. It's a piece of art that also can be used as a map of the city of the Leet or rather the town of Leet, which is um, supposed to be the starting town of the party. Um, very small and uh, very nice detail on the map and you uh, qu quite easily get uh, some stories fr just from looking at the uh, buildings. That is very, a very excellent job. Um, then we have two two books, or rather, yeah. you see, not not that much pages, but uh, just enough for beginners, I think. Um, one is for players, the other is for the GM. Um, also, there were two ten-sided dice, because these are the ones you use in this game, but uh, I seem to have forgotten to bring them. Um, yeah, that's the thing about Aborea. I'm uh, probably beginning a uh, uh, character creation for a uh, short campaign uh, or maybe even a one-shot. Uh, maybe I will uh, 
do something about that. If I do a review of this, it will probably be in German because uh, I think before this gets out in English, um, I will probably have grandchildren. Or well, maybe not that much, but I will probably have children. Um, and uh, at the moment there is nothing on the way, if you ask. Um, also, I have bought this one. All flesh must be eaten. And I say, uh, I can say I'm really pleased with this book. Um, I uh, it really sets the moods nicely. Um, if you uh, want to be convinced like I was, uh, watch um, uh, the reviews of uh, various other YouTubers. Um, I believe uh, Clack Click Bang did one. Um, then there was one from um, exactly um, Game Geeks um, and I'm not sure Bland Humanoid or was it Wood? Was it Ander? Um, not sure. Or maybe it was someone else entirely. But I know I've watched three uh, and uh, they all spoke good of it and they are right, I have to say. So, moving on. Um, Savage Worlds, the Gentleman's Edition. Um, this is, uh, despite its English name, uh, the German edition, which I had not noticed uh, when I bought it, because uh, I was t my eyes were too lazy to look on the back side and read this small script, which is in English, whereas uh, the top line and everything down here is English. Or rather, you can't, deci can't decide which language it is. Ah, stupid cable. Um, and it also was um, uh, in, in pl wrapped in plastic, so I couldn't really look at the texts. Um, I'm not quite sure if I like this or not yet, uh, but I'm sure I will come to some kind of conclusion um, sometime or another. <coughs> um, and uh, Oh, right. Um, the last purchases I can't show you because uh, those are PDFs. Um, First, I bought the uh, three core books for Savage, uh, not Savage Worlds, um, Darwin's World, which is a um, post, post, post apocalyptic game. Um, and um, I had hoped for more. Let's leave it at that for now. Um, then, what did I bought? Also, oh yes, of course, the uh, three books that were translated for the Dark Eye uh, into English, and uh, I think there was one more that I wanted to talk about. Um, oh, uh, there was also Rune Quest uh, Second Edition from Goose Publishing, but that uh, was uh, only a buy to. Uh, uh, get to know some of the policies of PayPal, but that's a story for another day. Um, oh, uh, I also bought uh, Cortex, the core rulebook, and uh, when it was still available I bought the packages that, uh, well, I believe it was one package with a huge, huge discount uh, for the Battlestar Galactica version of Cortex and uh, for the um, the Serenity role-playing game. So I have those. And I think that's about it. Um, yeah, I really can't find anything more. Ah, yes, yes, I can. Um, I bought uh, Cthulhu, the 6th edition by Chaosium. Um, and I've played in one uh, C um, Cthulhu round uh, uh, recently. Um, well, okay, uh, this is it for the games. Um, also, I want to give out a shout out to Thorndark. Uh, I will put a link below. Um, 
I really should have done this way mm, uh, earlier because I think he has so far gone unnoticed by the larger community um, and he's done some quite nice works but uh, thank you for watching this is the Narubin